people of God, reporting live from Holy Ghost City and Miracles Church. Our prophet just arrived just now, Prophet Kenneth Oyekachi Serenadi. So, Daddy, what do you have to tell all the viewers? All the yes, uh, today is going to be awesome. You know, God has prepared a lot of packages for his people today. Of which you know, when we talk about men, it means that miracles await you. Yes. So wherever you are right now, start preparing to have your way to Holy Ghost City and Miracle Church. If you are watching us, you know, through the live streaming around the world, just make sure you stay connected and uh, invite your friends, you know, comment, share, start sharing, start inviting your friends. It's going to be awesome. A few minutes from now, it's going to be so blissful and heaven on earth. I strongly believe your testimony is guaranteed. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Bible says, Today is the day the Lord has made, and you shall rejoice and be glad in it. I prophesy to somebody, You shall rejoice today in the name of Jesus. You shall be glad in today. Can I hear your amen? Lift those hands above your head. I have a prophetic word for somebody. Uh, I know there are oppressions. I know there are attacks. I know that the enemy is against somebody. But there is a prophetic word. You shall not fail in your life and your destiny. If there is no opposition, it means that you are not living. For the fact you are alive and for the fact you are living, opposition will come because of what you carry. But there is a prophetic word for you. I release this prophetic word for somebody. You shall succeed in your life and destiny. I know that most of us, we came from an ugly background. I know that your background is not all that good. But there is a prophetic word for you. Anywhere you are hearing the sound of my voice, and you are watching us on the live streaming, I came to speak into your life. Your background can never stop you in the name of Jesus. I stretch forth my hand and I speak by the voice of grace. No matter your background, God shall take you from the zero place to the hero place. 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 If I hear you shout heaven like thunder, take it. If I hear you shout fire like thunder, take it. If you study Judges chapter 11, huh? if you read from verse 1 to 11, Bible talks about a young man called Jephthah. The Bible said he was a mighty man of valor, but he was born by a harlot. The harlot gave birth to him. That speaks of his background. And the Bible said the father married another woman. And the woman gave birth to some sons. And when they grew up, they came to Jephthah one day and said, You will never have an inheritance in this family because your mother was a harlot. Lift your hands. Many are times, many people have never risen. Many people are somehow stagnant because of the stigma of their background. Number two, because of the stigma of what the enemy has told them. I don't know what the enemy has told you. Even last night, some of you had voices. And a voice from hell was speaking to you that if God is truly God, why are you passing through what you are passing through? I tell you it's a prophetic word. The devil is a liar. God is true. I prophesy no matter the situation, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And if God is on your side, devil is in trouble. You shall rise from the zero place. 
to the hero place. You shall rise. You shall go higher. 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 If I hear your amen like thunder, receive that grace. Stay connected. Lift your hands. Stay connected. Connect your heart to the prophetic word. If the devil does not know that there is power in the world, why did he speak to you? Why did you hear his voice? So how can you come to a church and you fail to connect your heart to the word from above? But you spend time hearing the devil. You spend time hearing the devil and now you are doubting God. The Bible says faith comes by hearing. Yes, sir. I hear him through the preaching of Christ. Lift your hands. The Bible said when Jephthah had this. Listen to me. There is power in the world. When they made Jephthah to know that his background was very bad, they rejected him. I don't know how many people that have been rejected. You try to belong, but they try to tell you you don't belong because of your condition. You didn't hear me. No? Yes, my father. Haven't you had some friends that somehow they begin to give you body language because things are no more working out well. When things were working out well, they were there for you. But now it's like things are shaking. They have started to give you body language. Some of them even spoke it to your hearing. But I came with a prophetic word. God is about to disappoint them. That's why Amen is too weak to, 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 to. lift your hands. The brothers of Jephthah rejected him, casted him out, made him an outcast, gave him words of discouragement. Instead of encouraging their brother, they discourage him. There are people, instead of encouraging you, they will discourage you. But I have a word for you. Come on, live and look beyond them. Look beyond what they are doing. Your future is not in their hand. Your future is in your hand. If you can take your future by your hand today, you will see mighty miracles happening in your life. Lift your hands. Jephthah looked at them and saw that they have they had no plan for him. He left the family and went to a place called Tob. And when he went there, certain people that look like him came to him. The Bible called them outcasts. Bible called them vagabonds. Bible called them wanderers. People that the society had written off. People that, you know, their relative didn't see anything good that will come out of them. You know, there are people that will look at you when they just look around and then by their essential ability they, they begin to conclude you by by the things that are happening i have a prophetic word for you that god will disappoint them i have a prophetic word for somebody you will never be you will never be concluded by the conclusion of your enemies Somebody that connect to that one, why not say amen like thunder? Amen. Lift your hands. Lower it. Jephthah refused to conclude his life by the conclusion of his mockers. They had already concluded him by reminding him that he, it was a harlot that gave birth to him. So because you were a son of a harlot, you have no future. That was what they were telling Jephthah. And Jephthah looked at them and ran to a place called Tob. And then this man I was talking about ran to him. Let's sing. Lift your hands. When people reject you, they have only allowed a acceptable hand to receive you. No, you didn't hear. You didn't hear. Uh, you didn't hear. Anybody that went out of your life has finished his assignments yeah. so don't kill yourself yes, no you didn't hear you didn't hear just make sure that it is not your character it is not your attitude that make them to leave you but if you have done what you ought to do 
and they finally leave you don't kill yourself the assignment in your life is finished if they continue to be there they will do more harm than good in your life there are what there is what is called seasonal relationship there are relationships that are seasonal and there are ones that are permanent you need to be sensitive to know who is who in your life there are certain people that are seasonal in your life they will come and disappear oh you're not hearing what i'm saying i prophesy to somebody whatever that is weighing you down they say grace to rise if you are connected i will know by the way you are saying amen the bible said this man came to jephthah and jephthah began to you know help them discover their potentials and discover their destinies and they became mighty warriors they became mighty warriors do you see that your background can never put your destiny on the ground you can rise from zero place to hero place you can rise from the pit to the palace somebody is not hearing me the yari may shot fire like thunder in this place The only thing that can stop you is you. Yes, sir. You didn't hear me right. Are you my The only thing that has the capacity to stop you is you. How can you stop you? The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. The moment you start thinking failure, God cannot help you. The moment you conclude your life that you have failed, God cannot help you because the bible said he can do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can ask more than we can think according to his power that worked in us stretch forth your hand oh. as far as you are thinking success as far as you are thinking that you will make it as far as you are thinking victory that victory is coming to you in the name of jesus Amen. I prophesy to somebody this year will never elude you this year will never pass you by something good is about to hit your life you must testify in the name of Jesus you must testify in the name of Jesus if you believe shout amen like thunder three times wave your hand and say amen be seated. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus.